A story that caught our eye this week was in the healthcare space. Ever gone on vacation and spent half of your time scratching insect bites? In tropical countries especially, the main culprit is typically a mosquito. An itch is a minor complaint, but mosquitoes can harbour a far more serious condition. But now we may have a new weapon in the battle against malaria. Before I talk about that, why do we care about malaria? Here's some context. Malaria is a disease that is spread through the bites of female mosquitoes carrying parasites, which are the things that actually cause malaria. It cannot be spread from person to person, so it isn't contagious, and it is preventable and curable, but if not treated effectively, can be fatal. Almost half of the world's population is at risk of malaria, mostly in tropical countries. And there were 245 million cases of malaria in 2020 and 670,000 deaths. 96% of those were in Africa and 80% of those deaths were children under five years old. Until now, preventing mosquitoes from biting us has been the main preventative measure. Mosquito nets, insect repellent, covering up, etc. More recently, vaccines have been tested and are being rolled out to supplement those physical measures. The RTSS vaccine developed by GSK was given the go-ahead by the World Health Organization in Africa in 2021. And earlier this year, Ghana became the first country to approve the R21 Matrix M vaccine, which was developed at the University of Oxford. A Burkina Faso trial last year showed the vaccine gave 80% protection, higher than the, than the World Health Organization's target of 75% efficacy but there could now be a new weapon in the fight against malaria. Scientists from a GSK research lab in Madrid, in conjunction with John Hopkins University, have discovered a naturally occurring strain of bacteria which could reduce malaria transmission from mosquitoes to humans. The Delftia suahatensis TC1 bacteria could reduce a mosquito's parasite load by up to 73%. And it does this by secreting a small molecule called harmane, which inhibits development of the parasite in the insect's own gut. And this compound could potentially be ingested orally by the mosquito through water or absorbed through its cuticle, the, which is the outermost part of the mosquito leg. Trials to assess the safety of this in the real world are currently taking place in Burkina Faso. And you can read more about it at the sustainableinvestor.org.uk including how global warming has led to the emergence of a number of locally transmitted tropical diseases, including dengue and Zika, in parts of southern Europe. 